Hello, my name is Gabriel Aaron, a current senior here at Westbrook High School. And I know throughout my college search, I feel like the biggest thing that was holding me back and kind of getting the decision towards where I wanted to go or how I felt about certain schools was kind of me seeing the campus. You know, when you sit behind your computer seeing the virtual tour, you can't really see all the things you would see if you were on campus. So with this, one school that I applied to, as you can see, was Grand Canyon University. I applied to Grand Canyon University, say maybe September, I got my stuff back probably the end of October. And you know, with the, my acceptance to the school, I was out with my counselors, Mr. Jeremy Brown and Mr. Levi Axworthy. They said, you know, well, Gabriel, we have this Discover GCU trip. It's kind of like a nice little flight. You get to fly into the campus. You get to have a little hotel room. You can see everything you, what your little group would be doing. And I said, you know, Mr. Axworthy, I'd really like to be a part of that trip. And with that, I applied to the Discover GCU trip, and I found so many things. Now, you'll see me here in GCU on my first morning now. Hey, Katie Westmore High School. It is Super Senior Leader Gabriel Aaron here at Discover GCU. We just woke up. We came around here for breakfast. You know, we're about it. We're really eating good. I just got a GCU Stampede shake. It's pretty great. It's their own energy drink here at Discover. It's really great. And you know, burritos. It's about to be a crazy day. I'll bring y'all along with me. See y'all. All right. We made it to campus. Getting ready to do a short little tour. Bring y'all along the way with me. Now guys, one thing about GCU is that I've noticed throughout their application process, it was very easy to get in. Once I got there, I had a couple meetings with my counselor and all that. They set everything up, it was very nice. And when you get to Discovery, we'll set it up all for you. So make sure you're feeling right at home. I'll give you a VIP treatment. Hey guys, like a little short little time we got to like play around, talk to friends, all of this at, at GCU, at Discovery HQ. It looks pretty nice, guys. We got everybody out here playing and all that. Beautiful morning today. As you can tell, I have the most obnoxious voice. My name is McKenna. I'm a senior here at GCU. I'm studying in San Diego. So coming out here was a lot different, a lot more hot, but I wouldn't change it for the world. It's been great. I'm really sad to leave, but I'm excited to show you guys um, the school and what it has to offer. So, where are you guys all from? Houston. Houston, okay. Chicago. Chicago, Laguna, who's the Laguna? Let's go, Laguna. Anyone from Colorado? Yes, okay, what about Hawaii? Not Hawaii, okay. Dang, none of you from, okay. What about, ooh, like East Coast? Anyone from the East Coast? <gasps> Where? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, let's go! Uh, what about, like, Midwest? Oh, where? Wisconsin, okay. Anyone from Carlsbad? No? Okay, that's awkward. Okay, well, I'm from Carlsbad. And, alrighty, if you look to your left, that is our gorgeous soccer field. Can you get sporty? Anyone like to play soccer? We got some soccer people. Okay, cool. So that's where all of our big games are for that. It's super fun. We have a crazy student section. It's kind of fun we're also having. Great. If you guys have any questions, please ask me. I'm an open book when it comes to this. So ask all the questions that you want. Okay, if you look to your right, that building, it's called Kaima. Um, that's a really cool building here on campus. We have a super cool multicultural office where we hold tons of events to celebrate everyone's differences. So we do Culture Fest, which is this really fun event where students will come and bring up like a pop-up tent and like talk about their culture and bring in foods. We have like a coffee week, so coffee from different countries. We have like a fashion show. It's super cool. We also have the ROTC. So anyone interested in ROTC? Okay, cool. So the 
ROTC office is in there. They do a lot in there as well. They have different lounges. And if you guys are looking to commute, they have a super cool commuter lounge. They have like waffle bars and like food bars and a bunch of other things like that. So definitely include our commuters here on campus. I'm really out of shape, so I'm gonna be like huffing and puffing, so bear with me. Are you guys excited to be here? Yes. Yeah? What have you guys been doing so far on your trip? Meeting new people. Meeting new people. I like it. What, what food have you guys had? I had chipotle. Chipotle. Sorry. I had like blank. Oh my goodness. I wish we had a chipotle. But we have a chipotle, which is even better because free guac. What can go wrong with free guac, you know? So what have you guys seen here on campus? The Havocs. Okay, the Havocs. Okay. Oh, did you guys go to the basketball game last night? Yeah. Oh, wasn't that It was a bummer. So cool? I know that was a bummer. That was kind of sad. So, no All right. To your left, that is our track and field. I can barely run two laps on it, but my foot friends can run like a mile. Good for them. I hate running. Who likes running? Oh, I wish I wish that could be me. I just can't though. Uh, so a lot of cool stuff in there. Right side, that's our two-story gym. It's called the LPC. Um, so a lot of our D1 athletes practice on the first floor of that gym. But it has a really pretty view of like the softball stadium, a, lo a lot of weights and stuff in there. I believe we have just around seven gyms on campus, so you have a lot of opportunities to get in shape and beat that freshman 15 because people, it is real. It is real what they're not feeling. I wouldn't have I didn't actually do any like campus research. I love the gym and I also love Panda Express, so it's a great balance. Do you guys have any questions about what I've said? And now we're just walking. Oh my gosh, it like, like goes a mile back. The last person! Raise your hand! The last. Okay, never mind, forget it. I, I'm too. I thought my voice was loud. Can you not hear me? No. Can you hear me now? Yeah? Okay, yeah? hey, I'll try and scream more. I don't think you'll like it though. It's pretty annoying. Can you hear me now? <laughs> Face this way, okay. But guys, I'm going to trip if I walk backwards. <laughs> Someone catch me if I even fall. <laughs> Forget it. It's early in the morning for me, okay? Okay, the ground behind me. Everyone say, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> we'll get better. Anyway, so the ground behind me, that is our freshman living area. There's four big dorms. So if you're a freshman and it's your first year, definitely go in there. It's super fun. We have a pool, a gym. Um, what else do we have? A mail center. Super, super fun. My freshman year, they put, uh, we made a human sized whirlpool in the gym, which is pretty crazy. And like the first week of school, they bring in huge, like inflatable water slides. And we have like water slide nights. We have big, who likes spike ball? Any spike ball people? Okay. Spike ball is hard for me. I don't like it, but a lot of kids do. We have like a club spike ball team. Pretty fun. My freshman year, I would spend time just hanging out with friends, a lot of people out here until like 4 a.m. because that's what college is like, you know? 
You don't get any sleep, but it's okay. Yeah. Four hours. Home. I'm not sure. And then got woke up at her like, because I was so, like, nervous. Oh my god! Superior, I can tell you. I was like, yeah. an hour and a half from the airport. Oh, you did? Yeah. Well, I completely understand the idea of this. Yeah. Oh, she's right there. No, we were leaving like where is she? So the four dorms in this area, it's Willow, Acacia, Juniper, and Ironwood. Um, a lot of different options here. And then we have a big pool which will pass up like, around there. It's fun. <laughs> Who says we're walking fast? We just have long legs. Saturday mornings, people are exhausted and I usually sleep in till like 1 a.m. Not 1 a.m. 1 p.m. Sorry. Yeah, time's wrong. It's early, okay? I usually am the one that's sleeping at 1 p.m. Easy. <laughs> Yes. Okay, let's go through the pool. We're gonna like, hold up and wait on them. Hurry up, Carson! I may not see it. I want to say, ooh, cool. Oh, cool. Thank you. So warm. Do you guys want to like touch the water of the pool? No. No, it's okay. You can just look. I'm just stalling right now. We're gonna wait for everyone to catch up with us. Say, so, could you hold this? Wow, we got a lot. I'll probably pay you. No. <laughs> you still gotta record? Yeah, so like I said, this is the Grove. It's a super fun space. There's so many different events. We have an event planner. They're called CAB. It stands for Cane Activities Board. Uh, they plan so many events throughout the year. They do like snow much fun. Well, they'll bring in snow in December and put them on the fields. They'll bring in water slides. Have you guys ever done silent disco? Says. Yes. Yeah, so silent disco is basically like it's like a full on dance party but with headphones on, but you're in like a big crowd of people, but it's like completely silent because your headphones are the ones that only have music. So pretty exciting, pretty fun. I did that my freshman year. We have hanging of the Grange, which is like our winter formal. So that's like you get all dressed up, you can ask a date, but most people just go with friends, so that's super fun. Um, we have lip sync, so these groups of students will get together and perform like a lip sync battle in front of like the entire um, student body. It's in the arena, which holds about like 8,000 people, so that's pretty fun. Um, and then we have like a talent show coming up, so students can uh, show off their talent and probably get a prize, so that's super fun. A lot of cool ways to get connected and have fun, and that's a great way to meet people too. All right, we're gonna go back there. We're gonna wait on Harrison. Who wants to see a dorm? Wow, people, who wants to see a dorm? Me. That's the best part of the tour, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Did you guys see the stream last night? Mm -hmm. At like 11, 12 o'clock? Excuse me, sir. Exactly, that's why. I'm not a man of the Are you? Oh, bro, this is oh, no, it's not a souvenir. But, oh, it is a souvenir. Can you go grab that for me? Ooh. Actually, I'm going to grab it. Hold up. So, what surprised you the most here at GCU? What surprised me the most? Um, 
surprised me the most was just how friendly the students are here on campus. I remember in my freshman orientation, they were saying how kids are so nice and they're always willing to open the door for you and say hi to random strangers. So that was a big shock compared to other big universities where the community isn't so special. Um, so that was really cool to walk into, especially as incoming freshmen who didn't know that many people. Yes, ma'am. Souvenir, man. <laughs> Souvenir. Oh, oh yeah. I'm not smart, but my dad always likes to say everyone's an idiot except for me. That's kind of a funny quote from that. Uh, I have a funny story about GCU. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, so my freshman year, my freshman year, I was like addicted to eating ice and I would like crack my teeth. And I remember my friend and I, they, do you guys like crunchy ice? Yes. And I'm like, yes, the crunchy ice is so good. So I walked from like all the way across campus to this Lopes bar right here because they had the crunchy ice. And sometimes I would do it barefoot and people would look at me really weird. And I remember just thinking, you know, I was 18, like carefree. And then I look back, I'm like, wow, McKenna, you are such an idiot. That's great. What? I'm asking where you are. Who? Jacob. I think he assumes Sorry, I think That's awkward. That's awesome. Did he just ask me that? Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. So what's your career path and what are you doing towards so your graduation, ma'am? Yeah, so for after graduation, I'm planning to go back home to San Diego and check out a few counseling jobs. Uh, so I'm actually a volunteer for Changing Lives Center. Basically, I hold social, social emotional groups for middle schoolers. So that's really teaching me more about counseling and how to help people in the mental health field. And that's what I hope to do after graduation. Yes, ma'am. Nobody is gonna do it. Thank you, guys. I'm gonna join you guys. I have my friends. Over here, they're checking it out right now. But we're gonna join you guys. Cool. Yeah, can you just hold you it? like it? We're just gonna hang out and you guys go in there and then we'll join. And the hair should probably go in, but I don't know why it's not good. Oh, this is all skin. Never mind, it's fine. Quick laugh, okay. Uh-huh. Isn't that the meme? Uh-huh. Maybe not. Maybe I'm tripping. Please get through, please get through. Oh, I got through. Isn't this the best thing ever? Bro, look at this. Ooh. I need it now. I saw it on the side of the road. I just needed it. Hi, Katie West Park High School. <laughs> I like how you just have that. That's a T7. All right, what's that's up, cool guys? Hey, I have new friends for you. They're right here. <gasps> new friends. Hi. Sorry. Where are you guys from? From Washington. Washington. Let's say Washington. When can we stop at G Discover G HQ again? When can we stop at Discover HQ again? Alright. Who's excited to leave home? Everybody. Who is so sick of parents? 
or guardians. When I was 18 years old, I was like, goodbye mother, I will never see you again. <laughs> She's a great mom, I love her. But you know that 16, 18 year old phase where you're just like, get out of my face, that's why I would die. <laughs> So what do you have to say to incoming freshmen here trying to go to GCU? Yeah, so the incoming freshmen, I would say really just be open to all that GCU has to offer. If you are interested in anything, we probably have it. Uh, we're a very overall big school that has a lot of different opportunities. And if you're more introverted, it's okay to just get involved in one to two things. You don't have to say yes to anything, but if you do say yes to something, go all into it and make a small community out of it. Yes, ma'am. You guys need um, some sort of vaccine, a TB test, um, you need uh, medicine, you can go to them. They, uh, you can't get medicine, you just have to go off campus and pick it up. Um, so that's super sweet and they're all the regular nurses, the registered nurses, they're not like student nurses trying to train on you. Uh, they have flu shots for vaccines, if you ever tear your ACL or you just uh, up with your joint. Have you all been in? Did you all go in yesterday? Okay, cool. So as you can tell, it's pretty big, pretty cool. 
Um, we have Monday Chapel in there from 11 to 12. It's optional. You don't have to go, but that's a really cool way to meet friends and hang out and worship if you're into that. And then we have Purple Greens, which is like our healthy um, quinoa bowl option. Like, oh, they have the best salmon. Oh, their salmon is so good. <laughs> and then we have GCU Arena Cafe. They have gluten-free pancakes, people. How many of you are gluten-free? Let's go, really? let's go, sister. <laughs> yes! They have gluten-free pancakes. I'm telling you, it's so good. Uh, so they have just like and chicken fingers and like wings and all that stuff. So, so many food options. It's incredible. And what else? We have volleyball games in there too, like women, women's and men's basketball, all that fun stuff. So definitely fun to hang out with. Quad Kitchen, we just added that. And that's a really nice barbecue place. Um, I haven't been yet, but I heard it's super, super good. So definitely check out all of our eating options. Are you ready to keep going? Cool. I know people will get a break soon, I promise. <laughs> The second and third floor of this building is our nursing mock hospital wing. So that's where nursing students, it looks like a hospital, it smells like a hospital. We have dummies that are smarties that can pee, drop blood, give birth, pretty much do anything a human can do except die. Um, they're pretty freaky looking, like they look really, really reali realistic. So kind of interesting, um, but a great hands-on experience for them. And then on the fourth floor for our forensic science people, you have our forensic science labs. So a lot of good hands-on experience there. Like you're looking at DNA kits um, and they have mock crime scenes. So they'll literally like caution off part of that courtyard um, to make it look like it was a murder scene. And sometimes it scares me because it almost looks like someone was murdered. Um, and they have like their lab coats on. So very great hands-on experience, like I said. Right next to our Natural Sciences building is our College of Humanities and Social Sciences. So for our psychology, counseling, um, social work, any of those things, that's... Um, I haven't really had any classes in there as a social work major, but some people do. It just kind of depends. Um, a really, really cool volunteer outreach thing they do in that college, they do a Changing Lives Center. Basically, you can be connected to high schools and middle schools in the area, and you can hold little counseling groups for those students. So they do so, so, social emotional help with that, and you're able to just kind of get hands-on experience with counseling if you're interested in that as well. A lot of great connections through them. Do we have any questions? No? So, we have about 10 minutes before our meeting. We're gonna hang out here for a bit. If you guys have to use the restroom, you can. At about 10.45, we're gonna go inside the building and get you guys connected to your PDS. Does that sound good? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna take a little break. My scooter. Hey, I will say, people, the only thing that gets stolen on this campus because we have such a great community is scooters and skateboards because we all buy the same thing, so people mistake it. But it's so nice being here because I will leave my computer out in the open and no one will take it. Seriously, the kids here are really trustworthy and we all are nice and care about each other. So definitely do not worry. What about dogs? We don't have dogs here. I think cats are disgusting, but we have cats and people love them. If you're a cat person, this is a place for you. I'm not, and I'm still here, so it's a place for everyone. What is, what is W-O-U-N? Wait, which building are we going to?
So this is a great place to be. Professors here. Professors are super nice. They're required to have 10 to 15 hours, um, office hours per week. So they're really uh, personable and easy to talk to. Um, classrooms. So your general education classes, the biggest a classroom will be is about 100 people. And then once you're a junior and senior and you're in like smaller classrooms, it'll be about 20 to 30. So not bad. I would say about, well for general education, it's about like 90 to 100 per one. And then for junior and senior, it's about 20 to 30 per one. So, but all my professors I have had, they all have known my name. They know people's names. Um, a lot of them will give you, you their personal phone number to reach out to. You can get internships and jobs through them. They're super nice and want to help our students. So it's a really cool opportunity. Do you guys know what the Shark Tank is? Is that a TV show? Yeah, it's a TV show. Basically, we have that here at GCU. So our business students who want to make something cool, step a volleyball net. Super, super cool. You can rent all the gear for free over there. Uh, so that's super nice. We have a local part that's more protein based for our athletes. Um, a lot of the of course, we have our inner murals, which is like our fun uh, free for all non competitive sports, but they are kind of competitive here because they're so big here. We have our club sports, which is our second tier. That's for students that still want to play like they did in high school. Uh, but they're not D1 level, but it's more of a pay to play, but a lot of cool different travel opportunities there. And then we have our D1 sports for our D1 athletes. Those ones are recruited and stuff. Do you guys want to see our climbing wall? Yeah. Yes. All right, let's go around the corner. Oh, there's a shark tank. Sir, for time on, do they supply you with chalk? Yes, we do. We do supply chalk. Yes, sir. Like, say, like when you come down here, you have a class for beginners, like to play on a climb? Yes. Absolutely, yep. Absolutely. Yeah, we have intro climbing classes, we have movement clinics, we have lead climbing clinics. Um, we do belay orientations, climbing orientations. Yeah, we got the works. I say, sir, what's the record for getting other than fastest? 0.6 seconds to get to the very top. Fastest time. I actually think the fastest time is 4.2. I don't know, yeah. All right. Four seconds. And what's the one thing that brought you to GCU? Private, Christian, and affordable. <laughs> um, you, sir? I'm a business student, and I get to finish my bachelor's degree in three years instead of four years since they accepted all my credits from uh, AP and college classes I took in high school. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah. What's your name? Gabriel. Gabriel? You're a beast. Thank you, sir. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah, have, have a good day. day. Yeah. Too, sir. You guys want to peek in? This is one of our gyms here. This is for only our club sports people. Um, but again, we have seven gyms here that each have a different focus. You guys can keep following me. There's still people coming in the back. For the people that are just now coming in, we have seven gyms. Each one has a specific focus. This one is for our club, uh, club sports athletes, and it's more um, weights. We have Zumba classes, spin classes, hit classes, Bear or, I don't know, bear classes, I don't know what those are. Um, so many different ways to stay fit here and you could do it in big groups. They have super nice, calm yoga classes and all that good stuff. If you are interested in club sports, this is, this is, our, this is our club sports office. So that's where some of the coaches are and stuff like that. Uh oh, we're gonna go out this door. I know. We have 300 of you today. What? We are scattered. We have 300 of you today. 300 tours? <laughs> you no, know, 300 of like just discovered. So we, last night we were all freaking out. We're like, oh my goodness. Oh my God, How are we yeah. going to do this? Yeah. yeah. I you Is this the biggest group this year so far? Oh. Uh, for me, like personally, or like giving a tour? Yeah. I think this is probably the biggest in half. Yeah. I thought you said there was 300 different tours going on. No, like, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, I want to tell that to all, everyone. Oh, we're going to cut through here. <laughs> okay, you guys see those uh, that those big buildings over there? Yeah. Uh, so those are basically added apartments. They have a GCBC, which is like a coffee shop. They have a Panera. They have a Nectar Juice Bar. They have an arcade. They have another pool. They have another gym. So... A lot more cool things.
things over there. They have ultimate frisbee and a flag football and a that happen on this field. And we have a track. The longest I've run on this track is 20 minutes. So if that doesn't tell you anything about my fitness, it's pretty sad. That's okay. Um, right now they're playing a club basketball game. Risk. She didn't run. Hello? Do you guys know where they're at? Everyone do this, this little sign. For the longest time I couldn't get it and I, it used to be like that. Are you okay? It's a long day, people. No one warned me that that was going to be there. Excuse me, you're just making me walk into stuff. Thanks. You're lucky I didn't eat it and face plant. down if you kind of go down that road that's another chick-fil-a and another gcbc which is like our coffee shop oh i see that gcbc right there girl what what flavor did you get um, oh i like it i like it yeah i always get the matcha it's really good but i get the almond milk you know because i'm like that um right behind me this building very interesting it's uh it's not a retirement home it's like a gov government funded retiring retirement home for people 55 plus um, I am actually a leader, so we have a ministry, it's called Colter Commons, so I'm a leader on that ministry. Every Tuesday I go in there and I play bingo and do like fun like dance game nights with the elderly in there. So it's super fun, they're super cute. Hi! <laughs> um, so a really cool way to serve and get connected to people and meet other people too that are interested in that so there's a lot of other ministries that i'll talk about later but that's just one of them if you are interested in old people who likes old people i know sometimes they scare i know sometimes they're scary but like they're really nice and the best part is they have no filter it's great all right everybody keep going that's great and produce and broccoli how far oh i'm like phoenix are we we're kind of like in the middle almost okay yeah but like we're like 15 minutes out from downtown. Okay. Because yeah. I have a my my GM uh -huh. or my assistant GM knows a bunch of people mm -hmm. like around like people, so I have like job connections. Oh, okay. Cool. So if I come down here, I have a little bit easier time looking for a job. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Your left. So uh, right. Right. That's all right, yes. So that is the ACE Center. That stands for Academic and Career Excellence. They provide free tutoring for all majors. Definitely take advantage of them. They're very helpful. Then on the career side of things, they have career counselors. They help connect students to internships, to jobs. They do resume workshops. They do internship workshops. Um, they do mock interviews if you need help brushing up your interview skills. That's super helpful. They really do have career fairs every other week here on campus. There's, so there's so many employers coming in and out trying to get GCU students um, to get hired and stuff. So that's super cool. Really, really take advantage of this. They have great connections. Um, you know, that's why we're here to get a degree and to go off. Um, and they just have a great career program here. So definitely take advantage of that. I just wanted to highlight that to you. So I've gone to them, they lo they've looked over my resume, they've helped connect me to internships down in San Diego, so it's great. Do we have any other questions? Nope. Okay, let's keep going. Well too, um, just because there's so many different events that happen on campus, and that's another cool way to meet people. And another cool way to meet people is to ask them to take you to the store to get groceries. That's how I met a lot of my good friends, because I was carless. Uh, so, super cool. Guess how much it costs? to park here for the year. It's not free, free but... Oh, you knew, you knew, you cheater. It's 250, it's a lot cheaper than ASU and other schools where it's like 800 to 1,000 per semester. So, we have it very easy here, so I don't wanna complain about it. Um, so yeah, and you are guaranteed a parking spot if you get a permit, so it's never a hassle. We have parking structures all throughout campus. This is just one of them, uh, so super nice. And, oh, another cool thing, at sunset, go up to the fifth floor of the parking garage. You have a really pretty view of sunset and you can take pictures. At least that's what all the girls here do, so. Kind of funny. Everyone say hi, Maggie! Woo! The best former Discover leader ever. Here, or a couch, or anything 
like that. You can ship it to the mail center. They will send you an email. You pick up your package and it's free. There's no hassle. There's no fee. Super nice and easy and convenient. I would love to go get my inner tube and float down this river. Wouldn't you? <laughs> Are we able to? That's disgusting. I wouldn't recommend. <laughs> Do not do that. You're going to say, where are the kitties? Where are the kitties? Yeah. Where are the kitties? Oh my God. Oh my God. Are we allowed to have pets on campus? So if it's an emotional support animal and you have a doctor's note, go for it. Oh. Sad. People have gotten away with snakes and bunnies and cats and dogs. I don't think dogs. It's like weird there's food. actually fish you could just bring that's on your own. That's a weird food chain. Hello. That is so Hello. So cute. Oh my God. Alright, we're almost here. We're almost here. Wait, how about you want So GCO is really unique in that our undergraduate students get to kind of uh, work on cadavers rather than being a graduate student. So you really get that hands-on experience uh, right then and there, your freshman and sophomore year. So that's super cool. And then, and they all have like bags that they put them in. It's very unique. Yeah, Quick question. Not. Yes. If you applied for the forensic science background, would you be able to use the cadavers? I don't think so. I think it's just for pre-med students. Yeah, but you guys right. have your own other thing that you do. Uh, second floor is our <laughs> eSports Arena. So for all you gamers, uh, like Fortnite and all that jazz. I don't know much about video games, but anyway. Uh, that's one of our biggest clubs here on campus is our eSports club. A lot of students will get a, uh, a scholarship for playing video games, so that's pretty sweet. And they also have like a GCU Hackers for Halos. They can ethically hack the firewall to get more experience in like computer security and all that. So pretty amazing. I always tell people that you will meet, I always tell the girls especially that you will meet your future husband in the esports arena. Kind of funny. Um, and then your third floor is your honors program. It's the only free honors program in Arizona. Um, and then you have your study abroad offices up there if you are interested in that. Fourth floor is our really cool snazzy recording studio for our worship arts majors. A lot of expensive equipment. They also have silent rooms which is like soundproof rooms where people can go record like podcasts and albums and different things like that. So a lot to take advantage of in there. Do we have any questions so far? Sciences. And for the studying sociology with an emphasis in social work and a minor we ever have sciences. And personally, I chose to compare GCU because my mom actually attended GCU online and she thought it would be cool if I attended in person, especially because it was during COVID and we were all locked in a house with 10 plus people and she's like, you need some space, okay? <laughs> so uh, normally I would ask all of you what your majors are, but there's quite a few of you in here. So uh, raise your hand if you're studying sociology, social work, or behavioral health. Okay, we've got some of you. How about education? Like teaching? Nursing? How about forensics? Cool. And then I think we also have communications. All right. Well, for all, for all of you guys, welcome to the CHSS. So I'm gonna give you guys a couple minutes to relax for a minute and then we're going to start walking over to the student life building, okay? Because you guys are walking along. So I'm not going to take you guys back in there, but uh, what, so in your larger classes, in terms of like your main, your uh, gen ed classes, you could have up to 40 to 60 people in those classes. However, with your, ma with your major specific classes, those will usually be approximately 25 people, give or take. That way it'll provide, it'll provide some one-on-one -on -one, uh, time with your professor, so that your professor can give you advice or give you feedback. Plus, most, most of your professors are required to spend at least 10 years in their field before they're able to work, before they're able to become professors here. So that way they can actually have, they usually still have like some uh, opportunities that they know about as well as little, they know the ins and outs of their own field. So they're able to give you guys a uh, job opportunity, like suggest job opportunities, internships, job shadowing, as well as give you advice on how things are currently going in your field. So uh, for, then you have like your more, uh, of like the certain majors, for example, sociology and social work would usually be about 25 students. Uh, sometimes less, I've had some as little as a dozen students before. Uh, and then for some other ones like communication, I imagine that those, will be, those ones will be a little bit bigger because we have much more communication students here than we do social work students. 
Do we have any questions? Forensics uh, labs. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of information about this, and I'll give you guys some time to explore, okay? So here at the Forensics Labs, the perfect example of how the labs here work at GCU. So labs here are present in every single area of field that you will go into. They just look a little bit different per uh, major. So in the Forensics Labs, there's more uh, scientific experimentation going on. Uh, you're doing, uh, well, actually it depends on the cost. For some of them, I've heard you can do some blood spatter analysis and fingerprinting analysis as well. Other times you're going to see labs like this as well for things like environmental science or nursing. Then for things like social work, communications, uh, psychology, you're going to have labs that are more uh, more inside of your classroom, like your major specific classrooms. For example, in my major, we do our labs are more like uh, they give you like a mock case study, so like a fake case study, and then they'll tell you, uh, if for example, the case study might say. Laura is a divorced woman. She is trying to get custody for two children and she is depressed. How will you help her? And then they give you a suggestion on how to help her. So things like, uh, I want you to look at her strengths right now. Give, give me a list of all of her strengths, all the resources that she has right now. So that is what laws will end up looking like in social work. Now we do understand that some of this stuff can get a little more on the difficult side. So there is, I'm doing off campus. There you can get free tutoring where you are able to um, just walk in and ask a question if you want to. You can kind of walk you through your assignments. You're also able to work there if you like. So if you're doing really great in your classes and you're like, man, I really, I really need some money and I would love to be able to help out my other students, then you can go there, apply, and then see if and then they will put you in a position where they feel that you have information that, that would be helpful here. So for example, if you are studying uh, science, then they'll put you know, have you uh, tutoring everybody that has to do with science. Do you have any questions? Alright guys, so I'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes and you guys can just... Victoria, um, I am a senior in the Worship Arts program. I've been a student worker here for a year now. Um, and yeah, is anybody in here interested in music or like Worship Arts? Yeah, okay, we got a couple. Oh, awesome. Well, welcome to our studio. Um, it's a little bit small for this group, but um, a little bit about the studio is that um, it's really community-based. It's primarily for just uh, Worship Arts majors and minors. Um, so if you want to use this facility, um, we have practice rooms and other like recording equipment that is available for you to use if you're a worship arts major or minor. Um, but yeah, um, if you're interested in that, our uh, songwriters lounge is available for anything that you want to do. So if you want to hang out with friends, um, or if you want to like even songwrite or like have like a little worship night, or even um, just do homework in there, that's available for you to use. Um, we also have rehearsal rooms. We have rehearsal A, B, and C, where it's equipped with different um, equipment just for like rehearsing, or you could even record your own music in there, which is really neat. So you'll get to like learn throughout like your process here, just how to like record and like use all those like equipment. Like we have Logic, we have GarageBand, we have, um, I'm pretty sure we have Pro Tools on the Macs that are in there as well. Um, and yeah, and then we have our big uh, studio, it's called Studio A, um, and we have Control Room A and Studio Proper. And so in there, oops, uh, in there we have um, big projects such as like big choirs come in here. We've had um, our Canyon Worship album, so we're working on I believe our eighth album this year. Um, tracking has already started for that. And we also record the Grand Collective in there too. So all those like little projects are all um, for you guys, for students who want to songwrite, um, and we submit it to like this little thing called Songwriter Showcase. And out of that little pool of selection, we have some executive board members um, pick out some songs so that they can showcase GC students and all of the work that they're doing here. So it's really neat. It's a really good opportunity. And um, yeah, so there's a lot of like neat stuff. Also in this room, if you're interested in like music, but you want to do like theater as well. Um, when we, when I think theater does some shows, all of the pit orchestra and band, um, we've been broadcasting it live from in here to the theater. So it's a really neat experience if you're like interested in like, if you play any like classical instruments, like maybe like a brass instrument or like um, a classical string instrument, you're, um, if you get the opportunity to play in like the musical for here, um, you'll be able to play in there too. So it's a really neat experience. Um, and yeah, are there any questions? Kind of gave you guys a bunch of information. Mm -hmm. Our whisper rooms. 
Um, there's four rooms available for you to use. So that room is av available to um, all majors on campus. Um, as long as you're a student, you're available to use it. Um, there's like a QR code on how to like use it. You have to go through like a little process to like, get certified to use it. It's super quick though. It takes like maybe like an hour to get all that processed. Um, but you're able to like record um, podcasts in there, record your own music. You can record um, voiceovers. I've, heard, I've had people do that. Um, or you can even like record like an audio book or whatever you want to use it for. The recording equipment is there for you to use and it's autonomous. So we kind of give you the equipment to use and you guys use it however you need to. Um, and yeah, there is a little bit of a fee that you have to use just because it is expensive equipment that we're giving to you, but you can't like find a good, a better deal than like what we give you here. So it's a really neat experience. Um, I, if anybody's interested in that and like, and you don't want to do like worship arts, like major or minor in it, that's a really good space for you to use. Um, and yeah. Yeah, any, so. any other questions about that? Use PCs cost a dollar an hour per at most. Um, it's a really great place to meet people, hang out if you enjoy playing games. Um, and since you guys are all Discover, right? Yes. Yeah, you guys can use anything in there for free and we'll set you up if you want to stop by. We open in about 15 minutes. Um, so you guys are totally free to stop by at any point that you have like free time and we'll set you up with whatever you need. Any games, any consoles, any PCs. But yeah, it's a really great place to meet people. You can earn money playing games for us, uh, scholarship. But yeah, any questions for me? Well, what teams do you have for esports? Esports. We got for varsity teams, the ones that get scholarship. We have Valorant, Overwatch, uh, Rocket League, Smash, and I always forget the last one, League of Legends. Yeah. And they can earn twenty five hundred dollars a year playing for us. Any other questions for me? Like, can you start teams with the, with the esports arena? Yeah. If you have enough interest in the community, you can always start a team. And we can range from like intramural kind of like for fun all the way up to like club where you get in your own tournaments and you can earn money. Thank you. All right, yeah. good. Is this the video or the picture? Video. Three, two, one. So with that, you know, y'all saw my experiences at GCU. The tour was absolutely great. The things I did on campus were amazing. I missed the school so much because, you know, I learned so many things throughout the trip. I met so many new people. I feel like going on this trip like Discover would help you in your college search if you plan to go to GCU. And with that, with the help of ASP and my counselors, Mr. Lee Canales, and everybody here at KUHS, the super senior leader, Gabriel Aaron, out.